And welcome to our newsrooms on the streets of Los Angeles. This is the Green Tea's Eco Action News. What started as the fulfillment of an eco dream nearly ended before it began. Just as the Green Tea's began production in our Green Malibu studios, an unforeseen obstacle arose. The studios were foreclosed. Meeting the challenge, the Green Tea's goes on today from the beautiful beaches of Malibu bringing you the LOL Eco News from Los Angeles and around the world. When LOL really means lost our lease. Featuring the award-winning Green Tea's Echo Action Team. Think the way we treat the planet is a joke now? Just wait till you see the Green Tea's. Hello from the Green Tea's Eco Action News. These are the Green Tea's headlines. A nation mourns the deaths today of two American icons, Charlie the Tuna and longtime partner Chicken of the Sea. The tuna were found dead on Malibu Beach holding fins. The coroner's report stated that Charlie died from radiation poisoning. Chicken was ruled a suicide. Sources say the tunas were in Japan last summer during the horrific nuclear crisis following the earthquake. In memory of the couple, Denny's has released a new tuna meltdown. Recently, folks are leaving a lot more than their hearts in the city of San Francisco. <laughs> Turns out, San Francisco's decade-long push to save water via low-flow toilet incentives simply doesn't push hard enough. To get the poo through, that is. Backed up feces inside downtown pipes have created a foul odor permeating the city. Since 2000, San Francisco has spent $100 million trying to kill the smell. They recently spent $14 million more on bleach in an effort to mask the smell and sanitize the poo before dumping it into the bay. The Green Tees emailed the San Francisco Department of Utilities regarding their bleach solution, only to be told our take on this story was simplistic, which kind of hurts my feelings. For our part, the Green Tea's Eco Action Team's Bob Colobus is in San Francisco for a closer look. Bob, what can you tell us? Well, Green Tea's, the smell is what's happening here in the San Francisco Bay. The city's bleach purchase means that 8.5 million pounds of bleach will be moved through city pipes and dumped in the bay until they run out. Citizens, distraught over the beach solution, have offered several alternatives, including organic enzymes that eat feces before biodegrading. Local law authorities have even offered to release their feces-eating Yorkshire Terriers into city sewage pipes. City officials have discussed a fundraising ways, with the feces-eating Yorkies released at one end of the clogged pipes and the zombie enzymes at the other. For your information, Green Tea's viewers, my bookies have pegged the Yorkies as the three to two favorites for reaching the halfway point first. Earlier, I connected with the San Francisco Bay. Here's what the concerned waters in the San Francisco Bay had to say about the bleach. I did not mind it when you dumped it in me. I knew you'd break down. Eventually, but as of late, your bay is not great. What I'm full of is your crap, San Francisco. I mean, really, sup with that, San Francisco? So your poop don't flow, but your crap do stink. And chlorine bleach ain't what you think. So here's just how to treat this beach. No how, no way. Say no to bleach, San Francisco. Respect. Thank you, Concerned Waters of the San Francisco Bay. Back to you, Green Tees. Thanks, Bob. Feces eating Yorkies versus zombie enzymes? Where will the smart people put their money? Let us know what you think. The Green Tees lines are open at the number below. For a solid link on what's going on with the low flow incentive in San Francisco, go to thegreentees.com and note, San Francisco Tourism is asking visitors to please restrict their use of the restrooms in public bars or restaurants only to random sex acts until further notice. More on this story as it decomposes. Now with Green Tea's Eco Action Team's Mary Jane O'Gore. I'm not just on the Green Tea's Eco Action Team, I'm a kick activist. Next time, I interview the world's tiniest and mightiest animals and why these little guys matter to us. Think you know what I'm talking about? We'll see. We'll certainly be looking forward to that story, Mary Jane. This has been the Green Tees Eco Action News. I'm the Green Tees. Perhaps someday we'll become popular, hire some writers, and do a really good newscast. Until then, if it's unfunny, unprofitable, and green, you can bet it's the Green Tees. Thank you.